Well, it's actually not that bad. All right, so here we are, winter van lifing it. And this little guy right here is our sole source of survival. That's a little dramatic. I'm not gonna go in sight of the road. I'm gonna go over there. What you got there, babe? So in my epic nursing class, I met this guy who nursing was his second career. And he told me the first spot that we had to check out on our mountain bikes was Horse Ridge. What we weren't expecting was our first mountain bike ride together that would really push me in terms of my preferences for a certain type of trail and weather conditions. We ended up pushing our bikes through about a couple inches of snow. Andy was such a trooper because I kept getting really angry every time my tires would spin out and my bike would kind of fall over. He would just keep quietly pushing me to keep pushing the bike forward. After that experience, we decided to head further south. But how are we going to survive the weekend without hot sauce? Hit it, baby. <laughs> So we drove along Byway 138 and I grew up in Lower Michigan and then went to college in the Upper Peninsula, as did Andy. So we are used to a lot of snow. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> we were not used to the 8 foot plus snow banks that we drove through in order to get to the other side of the Cascade Mountain Range. Along the way, I was reading some of the signs and I saw this sign for Tokatee Falls. Let's see it. I remember that name being recommended to me so I pulled up my Google Maps and sure enough it was on the list so we pulled off and had a surprise adventure We didn't know this at the time, but Bend is really considered a high desert, a lot like Colorado Springs. We were expecting kind of that PNW, green, lush, rainforest type environment. But now all the pictures that we have, I have this. <laughs> and we were so excited crossing over the Cascades and entering into what we were expecting. to um, Umpqua <laughs> and putting on my mittens. 
we have one. Perfectly suitable for all occasions, nice and soft. And then we have other, perfectly suitable for all occasions. Just happens to be the same handed glove. I lost both. Oh. <laughs> what were you doing no, last I'm night? Not <laughs> I was living my life while Hannah went into bed at 7.30. <laughs> So, um, some late night burritos. You can see my plate, nice and clean. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I am not the engineer in this relationship. <laughs> That's how it's done. The drive was really funny because we were passing through what we were expecting with these beautiful blue rivers. all of the things, and then we started rolling through a lot of farmland like we would expect back home in Michigan. Eventually we made it to the beach and we just spent the afternoon together exploring and hanging out. You won't go under. weather on the coast of Oregon, especially at this time, is cold. So it was fun feeling kind of like toddlers again, just running around and, you know, trying to just find entertainment in the rocks and the plants and the sand and all of the little things together. for dinner. We 
just walked over some live, laugh, love drawings on the ground and it reminded me of when my dad would bring home slices of unused wood from the job site. And Haley and I would set up our paint stations at the end of the kitchen table and we would paint them however we wanted. And a lot of times I would paint live, laugh, love and I'd put swirly flowers all around it. A couple of years ago when my dad moved into a place on Manatee Beach, I walked into the house and there was my live, laugh, love chunk of wood stationed above one of the windows on the windowsill. <laughs> you are one that will survive. We found a little spot on top of a cliff and spent the night. I think of you and of all I should have done. That fresh smell of salt. <laughs> Yummy! Instagram posing! The next morning we went to Cape Argo Park and we were making breakfast in the van and I just had this strong urge to go eat outside that morning. Well, I was sitting on outside the van and I just decided to get up and read a little informational sign about the area. As I was reading, I noticed there was this barking noise. The sign that I was reading was all about sea lions and how this area was a mecca for sea lions. Well, little did I know, in front of me was an island full of about 50 plus sea lions that we would have totally missed out on had we not gotten out of the van for breakfast. You told me the thing would shape all for